Seismic charges. Stand by. Hello oh guys, welcome to today's video. I say we got the small talk and jump right into an unlikely lore topic not why they talked about amongst ours. There are. Kiyoti Monty was a Force-sensitive Kiryan Jedi Master and member of the Jedi High Council during the last years of the Galactic Republic. By the time of the Clone Wars, Monty became a Jedi General of the Grand Army of the Republic. So evidently, he was a very smart man, and of course a man with a very big brain, who could apply his powerful knowledge to extremely complex situations. It kinda got me thinking, was Kiyoti Monty's forehead the same length from episodes 1 to 3? And if not, how can we use undeniably factual lore to explain this? Don't worry, to spare you time, I've already gone about measuring the various lengths of his forehead. I want to emphasize that every image of Master Mundy has been scaled appropriately to ensure a reliable comparative analysis. I am measuring off the screen of an iPhone 11 which is 6.1 inches in size. Obviously, if I was to measure off a larger screen, my measurements would be larger. But this will not affect our ability to pinpoint a difference in forehead size between the prequel film, so without further ado, let's jump right in. So here we have two images with Kiati Mundi in it. This one is from episode 1, and this one is from episode 2. They are both almost identical in scale, so it provides the perfect opportunity to compare. Kiati Mundi's forehead in this episode 1 Council Chamber shot mashes in at 0.9mm. Kiyari Mundi's forehead in this episode 2 council chamber shot is 0.7mm. Now let us compare episode 1 and 3 images of the same scale. In this episode 1 shot here, Master Mundi's forehead matches in at 0.5mm. In this episode 3 shot of the same scale, but hologram, the forehead matches in at exactly 0.5mm too. This is all very interesting. It means that Master Mundy's forehead was the same size in Episodes 1 and 3, but in Episode 2 it experienced a decrease in size. Can existing lore help us formulate a viable conclusion? I think the answer may lie in both the Force and the Kyrian species, with which Kyrian Mundy belongs. The Kyrians were distinguished by their enlarged conical cranium that contained an additional brain in the towering skull. These particular organs relied on blood pumped from their two hearts. Double the brain, double the heart. At additional times, there would have been different amounts of blood flow being pumped into the head, and this would have expanded or disbanded depending on how fast the two hearts were beating in relation to external pressures. Additionally, it must be noted that the two brains allowed the Kyrians to focus on multiple different things at the same time. When they were busy thinking and utilizing their second brain, perhaps more blood flow pumped into the head and expanded it. This then explains the size difference between Episodes 1 and 2. In Episode 1, Kyoti Mundi would have been under a lot more pressure with the revelation that Obi-Wan and Qui-Con had seen a Sith. And the shock could no less be demonstrated through his statement that the Sith had been extinct for over a millennia. Subsequently, his shock would have increased his thinking capacity, and he would have spent more time in the Council Chamber drawing upon the Force to answer his questions. The metachlorians within him would have responded and increased the speed of his blood circulation, pumping more blood into his head. In episode 2, prior to the Battle of Geonosis, he wasn't under as much stress. I mean, his only real stress leading up to this Jedi Council meeting was the assassination attempt on Padme, but come on, she's a senator, that would have been the least of Mundy's worries. Or maybe it was just inconsistency within the costume department at Lucasfilms. But who knows, um, I like to think that it is rooted in the lore. So yeah, Master Mundy's forehead increases and decreases in size as proven through my analysis. So there you have it. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for the next. And remember, be happy. We lost the transmission, sir.